This is the Jaguar XKR S. This car is a real handful. As you can see, there's tons of opposite lock through the whole lap. The car has a huge amount of horsepower, 550. And it's got tremendous brakes, but what it doesn't have is a, is a ton of steering feel. And so you kind of end up overcooking it a lot because you just don't have a sense of where the grip limits are in the car. The tires we found also go away kind of during the lap, even if you've cooled them down in, in advance of, of the hot lap. They don't tend to keep their stick terribly well through the whole lap, and so things that you could do at the beginning of the lap, by the end of the lap, the car is really struggling for grip. It gets very greasy. This car was the biggest handful. I mean, I'm nervous driving really fast on tracks to begin with, and this car just scared me to death. I mean, I really did loathe having to get into it to try and beat an existing lap time because every time I got out of that car I felt like A, I had cheated death and B, I had really gone about as fast as I could really go. It was just a daunting, daunting challenge to get a good lap time with this car. The car looks great, it sounds great, it's everything a Jaguar really should be. The fact that it's a challenge to drive isn't really its fault. I mean, we want cars that are a challenge to drive. We want cars that extract the best from the driver. The big challenge is that it just has so much horsepower for its chassis and its tires that you really can get into big trouble with it. As you can see, there's just tons of opposite lock as you're going around, constantly trying to keep the rear end from stepping out too much. With that much power, the rear tires can break loose quite easily. There are moments when you're going through some of the fast sweepers where you're just not really sure whether the car is going to hold or not. There's just this sort of a lack of data through the steering wheel and through the seats. So at all times, I was just nervous. I mean, I really sweated through my gloves and my underwear driving this car. Ultimately, I got a pretty good lap time in it, and I'm, I'm fairly happy with the lap time, but I definitely felt like this was the car that brought me closest to disaster. The car is a Jaguar, and this was definitely a cat fight. I mean, it was just a constant battle to keep that car on the track. The Jaguar XKRS did a time of 302.1.